So, why did you tell people you didn't go to the train station that evening after school? I know all the trains ended up being cancelled and you walked home. But we've got you on CCTV entering the station, following Tammy Galloway. You told your friends and one of my colleagues that you didn't go anywhere near the station that night. You told them you walked straight home from school. But that's not the true facts, is it? We've also got you on another camera stood on the platform next to Tammy. You appear to be talking to her. So, what were you saying? <laughs> Look at the little hard man sitting there in silence. We can play this out for as long as you like, mate. Doesn't bother me at all. I get paid to be here. And I can keep you locked up down in the cells for another 18 hours before I need to decide what to do with you. I can finish my shift, go home, take a dump, have a meal with the family, play with the kids, watch some TV, take a shower and have a good eight hours kip. Have some breakfast, come back to start my next shift and you'll still be here. Down in the cells waiting for me so we can start again. How did you find it down there earlier? Hmm? Cozy. You don't like women, do you, Aiden? I, d I don't mean sexually. In general, they scare you, don't they? They make you feel inferior. And when you feel inferior, you lash out. We've seen the way you treat your mum. We've seen the bruises on your girlfriend's wrists. And we've heard about how you were tormenting Tammy Galloway at school for months. No tales of you starting anything with any lads, though. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> See, the problem we've got, Aidan, is with the CCTV on the platform. When the train pulls in, everyone on the platform bunches to pile into the train. And we can't see you and Tammy anymore. We don't know how what happens next happens. But this is what we do know. You were at the station, despite what you claim. You were talking to Tammy. You were stood right next to her. And when the train pulled in, somehow she ended up under it. We've got a lot of very confused, very contrasting witness statements. So why don't you tell me what actually happened? How did Tammy die? Did she jump? Did she fall? Or was she pushed? It's pretty damning that you'd lied about being there. But nevertheless, I'll be honest with you. Personally, I think she jumped. You're a dumb lad, but I don't think you'd be stupid enough to push someone in front of a train, in front of a full station of people. But, I have the feeling that even if she did jump, you pushed her. Mentally. You wore her down. You just wouldn't leave her alone. Even outside of school. We know that's not even the train you take home normally. You take the one heading in the opposite direction. That leads from a completely different platform. So why would you even be stood with Tammy in the first place? What were you saying to her? How did she end up getting killed by that train, Aiden? No? Still nothing. Do you know anyone who's end up spending any time in the Young Offenders Institute? They'll tell you it's something of a holiday camp. But the reality is starkly different. There's no women to push around to start. I'll tell you that much. Anyways, 
That's my shift over. I'm going home. The missus is getting us a curry and I might be able to catch the end of the footy after I put the kids to bed. Seen anything interesting on Netflix you'd recommend? No? Okay. I'll see you in about 16 hours then. Enjoy your dry cheese and tomato sandwich. Sleep well, Aiden. Sleep well. Oh, and actually, if you don't mind, I might have my colleague Detective Hollis sitting with us tomorrow morning. I think you'll like her. I know how much you love strong women.